In this video, we will be assembling the Brinley 18-inch push spike aerator with transport wheels and an adjustable height handle that can be set in three different positions for users of different heights. And Brinley's new patent-pending 3D Tyne Stars, field tested to be two times stronger than flat Tyne Stars. Additional information and the manual can be found on our website at brinley.com or by scanning this QR code. The illustrations on page 5 of your manual are to scale. For faster identification of hardware during assembly, simply lay the hardware on top of the illustrations on page 5. Tools required. Two 10mm wrench and sockets, two 13mm wrench and sockets, pliers, safety glasses, and gloves. Step 1. Attaching the side plates. Align the holes in the top of the side plates with the holes in the bottom of the tray. Using the hardware in bag 1, Add a washer to each of the six hex bolts and pass the bolts from the top of the tray down through the holes in the top of the side plate and secure the side plate in place by adding nylon lock nuts to the end of each of the bolts. Note, do not fully tighten just yet. Repeat this step on the other side, aligning the holes in the second side plate up with the holes in the tray, adding three lock washers to three hex head bolts and passing the bolts from above through the tray and the holes in the top of the side plate and securing the side plate in place by adding three nylon lock nuts to the end of each of the bolts. Do not fully tighten these bolts just yet. Step 2. Adding the aerator tines. Caution: The aerator tines have extremely sharp points. Please use caution when handling. First, flip the aerator over to rest on the tray. Slide the axle through the first side plate and begin adding the bearings. Note, the bearings each have two small openings and two extensions. These are designed to fit together around the tines and sandwich the tines, sliding through and connecting. Then slide all five bearing and tine sandwiches onto the axle as shown. Then, after adding all of the tines and bearings, slide the axle all the way through the second side plate and center everything. Add a washer to each end of the axle from hardware bag 2. Then secure everything in place by sliding the cotter pins through the axle ends and bending the cotter pins with pliers. Now fully secure the side plates to the tray by going back and tightening all of the bolts from step 1 using two 10mm socket and wrenches to fully secure the bolts and using extreme caution moving your hands around the tines. Step 3 adding the lower handle tubes. Note, there are three different tubes on this assembly, lower handle tubes, middle handle tubes, and upper handle tubes. Please be sure to add the correct tubes on step three through five. Using the hardware in bag three, align the lower handle tubes up with the holes in the side plates as shown. Slide two hex head bolts through the side plates and the lower handle tubes and secure the lower handle tubes with two nylon lock nuts. Note, the adjustable handle accommodates users of different heights. At this stage, the handle can be set to one of three different heights by setting the tubes into one of the three sets of ridges on the insides of the side plates. To change the height after assembling, use a 13 millimeter wrench to remove the carriage bolts above the wheels from the side plate. Depending on the user's height, shift both of the bars to rest in one of the three ridges so the holes realign and the bolt can be replaced into the side plate. In this video, we will be setting the aerator handle to the middle height level. Step 4A. Adding the middle handle tubes. Using the hardware in bag 4, attach the middle handle tubes to the lower handle tubes by sliding the short end of the middle handle tube over the tapered end of the lower handle tube and aligning both holes so that you can slide two bolts through both pieces. Loosely adding lock nuts to secure in place. Then repeat this step with the other middle handle tube by sliding the short end of the middle handle tube over the tapered end of the lower handle tube and aligning both holes so that you can slide two bolts through both pieces. Secure each of the hex head bolts in place with a nylon lock nut using two 10 millimeter wrenches. Note, do not over tighten these bolts. Step 4B, 
attach the middle handle tubes to each other by passing the 1 inch bolt in hardware bag 4 through the middle hole in both middle handle tubes. Add a nylon lock nut to the end of the bolt, but make sure to not over tighten. Step 5. Adding the upper handle tubes. Slide the end of the upper handle tube with the larger opening over the extension in the middle handle tubes, aligning the two holes. Repeat this step on the other side. When all of the holes are aligned, attach the upper handle tubes to the middle handle tubes by passing two hex head bolts from hardware bag 5 through all of the holes and adding a nylon lock nut on the end of both bolts. Note: Do not over tighten. Then slide the handle grips onto the ends of the upper handle tubes. Step 6. Adding the wheels. Add a wheel onto the inside of the side plate by aligning the hole of the wheel up with the hole in the extension of the end of the side plate. Pass a one and a quarter inch carriage bolt from the outside through the side plate and the wheel and add a washer and nylon lock nut to the end to secure the wheel in place. Note, do not tighten fully and ensure the wheel can freely spin before moving on to the next wheel. Repeat this step on the other side, adding the wheel to the inside of the side plate by passing a one and a quarter inch hex bolt through both, adding a washer and a nylon lock nut, making sure to not fully tighten so that you can still spin the wheel freely. Congratulations, your Brindley Push Spike Aerator Assembly is complete. The recommended operating speed is a brisk walk of 3 miles an hour. If the soil is very soft and the aerator is difficult to push, reduce the weight in the tray. Never stand on the aerator. Keep all fasteners tight to be sure your equipment is in safe working condition, and be sure to store the aerator in a position in which the tines are not exposed. When adding weight, do not load more than 35 pounds onto the aerator tray. Weight should be secured by rope, straps, or other suitable means. For any questions, call Brindley Customer Service at 877-728-8224.